Assalamualaikum and hello to everyone who are watching this video right now. So before we get to the slides and so on, I will tell you that today we are going to learn about lots of things such as active and passive transport, isotonic, hypotonic and hypertonic solutions and its effects to the plant cell and animal cell. And lastly, we are going to learn about the phenomenon and the application in daily life on the movement of plasma membrane. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hello guys, I'm Afif and today you guys are going to be ready because we are going to learn so many things. Movement of substances across the plasma membrane in living organisms. Substances move in and out of our body cells for living processes. To do this, our cells require a specific mechanism to transport these substances. We call them active and passive transport. What is the difference between the two and how does it occur in different organisms? Active transport occurs when substances require energy in the form of ATP to move against a concentration gradient. That is to say, from lower to higher concentration. While in passive transport, substances move down the concentration gradient from higher to lower concentration without the usage of energy. There are three types of passive transport which are simple diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and osmosis. We can see both active and passive transport occurring in the villus, renal tubule, and the root of plants. On the other hand, gases exchange in the alveolus involves passive transport, whereas sucrose transport in the phloem of plants involves active transport. In the villus, Substances are transported into the lacteal and blood capillaries through passive and active transport. Fatty acids, glycerol and lipid soluble vitamins such as A, D, E and K are transported by simple diffusion. Fructose is transported by facilitated diffusion and vitamins B and C and water is transported through osmosis. Through active transport, glucose, galactose and amino acids are transported. In the renal tubule, water is reabsorbed by osmosis, while glucose, amino acids, and mineral ions such as sodium ions are reabsorbed by active transport. In the root of plants, water from the soil is transported through osmosis into the apoplast and symplast. Since there is a higher concentration of minerals in the root, mineral ions in the soil are transported through active transport by the roots. Oxygen and carbon dioxide diffuses down the concentration gradient between the alveoli and blood capillaries. Since the capillaries are thin and moist, the gases are able to dissolve and diffuse easily. When transportation of sucrose occurs during translocation of plants, the mesophyll cell in the leaf synthesizes sucrose and transports it into the phloem sieve tube by active transport. So now we will move to isotonic, hypotonic and hypertonic solution. So basically what is this? So guys, generally there are three types of solutions which are isotonic, hypotonic and hypertonic. Isotonic is a solution that has same concentrations of solutes. It is between two solutions like the example is like solution A and B are isotonic to it each other and there is no net movement of water so it, this means that the solution A and B have the same concentrations of solute between each okay, next we talk about hypotonic solution it was like a two solution we have solution A and solution B that solution A has a low solute concentrations and high water potential we explain this like Solution A is hypotonic to solution B and water diffuses from solution A to B by osmosis. Next, hypertonic solution was like a same two solution, solution A and solution B, but in this condition, solution A has a high solute concentration and low water potential. So, we say that as a solution A is hypertonic to so for your information, hypotonic, hypotonic, and isotonic solution give an effect to plant cell and animal cell. So 
let's exploit much more. When the red blood cells are placed in a hypotonic solution, the water will diffuse into the cells by osmosis and cause the cells to swell and finally burst. This is because the plasma membrane is too thin to extend the osmotic pressure built up in the cells and the red blood cell will undergo hemolysis and the condition of the red blood cell after undergo hemolysis is hemolysis. When a red blood cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, the water will move out of the cell by osmosis and this will cause the cells to shrink. The red blood cells are said to go crenations and become crenated. One lastly, the effect on isotonic solution was the water will diffuse into and out out of the cell by osmosis at the same rate so no net movement of water across the plasma membrane and this means the cell can maintain their normal shape and for the effect on animal cell we will have three which is hypotonic hypotonic and isotonic as well for hypotonic solution the water will diffuse into the vacuoles by osmosis and causes vacuoles to expand and push the cytoplasm and plasma membrane against the cell wall. The cells are turgid and the plant cell does not burst because the cell wall is very rigid and strong. But Tugor pr pressure is important in, in this because it gives support and maintain the shape of the cell. The cell turgidity causes the gut cell to swell to allow the stomata to remain open for the process of photosynthesis. In the hypotonic solution, the water will diffuse out from vacuoles by osmosis and vacuoles and cytoplasm will shrink, causing the plasma membrane to be pulled away from the cell wall and this process is plasmolysis. Leaves and stem will bend downward and wilt, but it can regain their turgidity if returned to hypotonic solution immediately. This process is known as deplasmolysis. And lastly, in isotonic solution. In isotonic solution, the water potential is the same. The movement of water diffusion in and out of the cell is also the same and this causes the cell to become flaccid. So now, last but not least, let's do some hot questions that related to this topic. Why does the plant become well if the person who plant it use a lot of fertilizer? This is the answer for the question.